Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some FIFA 22 price predictions for the first couple weeks of the game. What I'm aiming to do here is just give you a ballpark of where I think this player's price will be, just so you can plan and get ready and what to expect when you see this card on the FIFA 22 market in the first one to two weeks of the game. These prices are not going to be day one prices, probably more like day seven prices as we've seen the market move a little bit and as most people are starting to get on the game with early access and such so these prices are probably not what you're going to see right away but this is just kind of like a ballpark area of where they think that player will settle in the first two weeks of them being on the market and inside of the game also i think i'm going to talk a little bit more about preview packs because i think that's going to impact this market especially the lower tier i think it's going to make the lower tier cheaper in the beginning of the year this year with more supply preview packs just literally brings more supply it brings more coins to the market in some ways sometimes but it's going to bring more supply and that to me means that the lower tier is going to go down and that cards are going to drop off faster than they ever have so if you're enjoying these videos on the channel make sure you leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new but i just mentioned the preview packs i want to talk to you about why i think those movements are going to happen take a look at griezmann ptg no preview packs were out when he was released he was released as a 95 rated card boom 3.5 million coins a week later preview packs are out 95 rated firmino he was 95 i believe when he was first released only 2 million coins on the first day, even dropped to 1.3. So that just gives you a glimpse at how much supply could be differentiating from last year to this year for the beginning part of the game. But again, I really think since the preview packs you're going to see at the start of this game are not going to be 50, 100, 125k packs, that's really going to only affect mostly the lower tier market. But let's get into some price predictions. Let's start off with my boy Hyunmin Sun, confirmed to not be five star, five star. Now last year in FIFA 21, we're gonna be using a lot of FIFA 21 prices and talk about again, how this market's changing this year. And that'll give us a ballpark for this year's price. Last year in FIFA 21, Hyunmin Sun was very hyped because he was really good in FIFA 20. He was a center forward card. And a lot of people thought he was going to be the best left mid in the Prem. He reached a peak of 350,000 coins early on, but then dropped off because Marcus Rashford and five-star skills became more of the meta than the five-star weak foot that Sun had. I think this year, Sun is still going to be around that 300,000 coin range. I feel like the three to 350 range for Sun is still going to be where he's at because I think a lot of people like to... Sun is going to be good in FIFA, especially if there are finesse shots that are really good he's got the finesse shot trait he's got the five star weak foot his rating went up too so in theory also that would mean that he is more rare so you know i'll even up my my price range for sun somewhere between 350 to 400k seems legit for this young min sun card um even though there's marcus rashford and so many people are you know used to the five star skill meta i still think that sonaldo's going to be expensive this year because i think stat wise he is the best left mid in the premier league to start the game let's keep rolling though with a lower tier card phil foden massive upgrade to start this year from a 79 rated last year to an 84 rated this year now this one's a bit tricky right this one's a bit tricky because it's a big upgrade but this card is going to be meta regardless 87 dribbling on this card is a center attacking mid with 84 pace that is a really good mid to you know lower mid budget Maybe not even lower mid, mid to mid high actually in terms of price card for a center attacking mid in the Premier League with the English links, the Manchester City links, 87 dribbling. He's going to have a really high agility balance. I'm kind of comparing this Phil Foden card to Anthony Martial of last year in FIFA 21. Now, I don't think he's going to be as expensive as Martial was. Martial was 160 to 170,000 coins. I think this Phil Foden is going to be somewhere in the range of like 100 to 125K. I think he will break that 100K range. This would be a card early on that I would really watch because those price ranges for this item might be messed up. And you know when price ranges, when cards are extinct, and when you know where a card could be on the market price-wise based off of hype, based off of links, this item might be one to keep your eye on for something you could make coins off of early on. But I think he's going to be over 100,000 coins 
uh, in that first week. And I think that's going to be kind of his price settling around that 100K range just because of his great links, the hype that he has, the player that he is, and all that good stuff. So that's my Phil Foden prediction. Now, let's move on to a lower tier player. All right, we're, kinda be, we're gonna be jumping through high tier, mid tier, low tier throughout this whole video. 79 rated Lacroix. This is his confirmed card. It's not in the database yet, but 88 pace, 80 defense, 77 physical. Now this is where the preview pack scenario kind of pulls in here a little bit. This is a card that you would definitely use for the first couple of weeks of FIFA. After that, or maybe even after the first week or two, this guy's probably not going to be in your team anymore. Yes, he has great pace, but his defending stats are not going to cut it. So what is going to happen to his card price? I think a great place to look as a comparable card from last year is 80 rated Lucas Klosterman. Now, of course, Klosterman has a great card this year in FIFA 22 as well. But take a look at how much Klosterman was last year. 29,000 coins basically hit a peak of 30K within that first two week window from when the start of the game came out. I feel like with the 79 rated that Lacroix is this year, with the preview pack supplying that lower tier market a little bit, this card might hit a high of like 30,000 coins, 35,000 coins in that first week. But then after that, he's going to be dropping off severely. I really think that he's going to hit a peak kind of here in the first five to 10 days, depending on if he's extinct and his price range issues. I think he's going to hit a peak in the first five to 10 day window and then drop off massively, just like Klosterman did last year. Now, of course, Lacroix has really good links. He's French. He is, of course, a green link to Mbabu. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a card that people use for a little bit, but he's going to drop off in price massively because people are going to upgrade to guys like Militao, guys like Varane, guys like Marquinhos, Kimpembe. They're going to be upgrading from this Lacroix to those cards. Now, again, Klosterman has got a, a beast of a card himself this year. I think this card is going to probably be around 40,000 coins. I think maybe even Lacroix and Klosterman both around that 40K range at a peak, but I really, really, really feel like they will drop off after that just because of the lower ratings and the preview packs having some impact on that supply this year. So there's an expectation for some of those really cheap, but also really meta, sorry, not really cheap, but really low rated, really meta center backs to start off the game. Now, let's talk about the big bad man at center back. Everybody hates him from FIFA 21. That is Varane, right? Varane, 86 rated. So he's still around the same rating or the exact same rating that he was last year in FIFA 21, but he is now no longer at Real Madrid. Positives to this. Positive is he's in the Premier League. That means he gets even better links. Negative is he is no longer a perfect link to Ferland Mendy, aka the best left back in the game. People are still going to figure out ways to link that Mendy card. I can already see it now. Instead of using this Varane, well, they're still going to use a Varane and Mendy. They're just going to link him with a different midfielder um, than they did before. So I think this Varane card is going to be the most expensive cent uh, center back in the Prem. He's going to be more expensive than Van Dyke, purely off of the FIFA 21 hype. And of course, the links that he has, Manchester United and French. Last year, Varane's card was 270 to 300,000 coins in the first two week period, peaking at the end of October at 330K. I think this year, Varane is probably gonna be 400,000 coins. That's, I'm not even kidding. I think this Varane card is gonna be 400,000 coins purely because of the links that he has, the GGMU, and just how overpowered, he's always been a good card, but he was extremely overpowered last year. And again, what do we always say? People start off the new game with what was meta last year. They're going to go for this Varan right off the bat. Last year, Virgil van Dijk's card was 560,000 coins. Now, this is the opposite effect. In FIFA 20, van Dijk was incredibly overpowered. All of his cards were insane. He was probably the most popular center back. And that was, of course, the year that he had all of his special cards, had a tremendous year for Liverpool and stuff like that. He was very overpriced last year. And you can see his price dropped off a lot. Even though he was still one of the best center backs in the game, his price dropped off a significant amount as people just figured out this Van Dyke card wasn't that great. And guys like that Rafael Varane were much better. Now, Van Dyke was 560K last year. I still think that with this Varane being 86 rated, I think that being 500 to 600K, 600K is a little bit too much, I think. 
or this Varane. I think that's the top tier of the range, but 400 to 450, maybe at some point hitting 500K if he's still incredibly overpowered in game is possible for this Varane, but he's not going to be cheap. He's going to be one of the most expensive center backs in the game for sure. Let's go to the low tier once again, but a incredibly hyped up card. Now this one's going to be hard to call. It's going to be very hard to pinpoint this price, but I'm going to do my best to talk it through. Renato Sanchez. League one has more hype this year than ever. It's Premier League always number one, but then this year, I think League One's number two, the PSG links. There's even plenty of Portuguese links inside of the League One, especially for starter teams. Nuno Mendes, the left back for PSG, is a nice green link to this Renato Sanchez. There's plenty of options out there. Bamba as a left mid from Lille, right? There's plenty of options to link this Renato Sanchez. And I think that with the overpowered hype that this card was last year, as you guys know, and with the huge boost, I did not realize how big of a boost this guy got. 79 pace plus 5 pace for Renato Sanchez. Absolutely incredible on this boost from EA Sports. They're riding the hype for sure. But last year, this Renato Sanchez was uh, six to 7,000 coins. Yeah, you're going to have to times that by 10 this year to get Renato Sanchez's price. I think a great comparison to the start of FIFA 21 last year is my man, Alan St. Maximin. I think that the hype level with this card and the hype level with Renato Sanchez are similar. Uh, and this Alan St. Maximin card peaked at about 62 to 63,000 coins. He actually went out of packs because he has an inform. That's why he went up to almost 80K. But I could see Renato Sanchez is 100% 50K plus at the start of the game this year. I could honestly see this card being 60, 70, 80,000 coins. If he's 100K, that's a bit crazy to me. I think 100K is a bit crazy. Could I see it? Not really. So, this, it's also going to be a card that it depends on how good it is in game, but it's again going to be one of those situations like even you saw with St. Maximin where the low rating really starts to catch up with you in that second to third week of the game. He goes from 80k all the way down to 40k. His price cuts in half in a matter of a week and a half just because of the low rating and the start of the full game being released and people just upgrading over cards like this to something better so i know renato is probably more i guess game breaking than that alan st maximin but that's why i'm thinking renato is going to be pushing almost 100k range but probably like 70 to 80k in that ballpark that's my opinion now we're going back to the high tier this one we have to talk quickly about cristiano ronaldo this is the biggest year for Ronaldo in FIFA since FIFA 19, in my opinion. FIFA 19 was when Ronaldo was incredibly overpowered and his card peaked at 2.5 million coins in November. He started off at about 1.8, 1.6 mil, uh, 1.6 on PS, 1.8 on Xbox. Ronaldo starts about the same every year, but this year is going to be different. Ronaldo usually starts at about 1.6 to 1.8 mil. And then he goes up if he's meta, he goes down if he's not meta. Last year, he went down, started at 1.8, went down to the 1.5s. This year, team change. Manchester United hype, all the links that this brings, this Ronaldo card. He's going to be out of packs as a ones to watch. I am saying right now that Ronaldo is going to be about 2 to 2.5 million coins in that first week. To second week of this game. I really think that Ronaldo is going to be that expensive. The five-star skills, the four-star weak foot, the Premier League links, just the GGMU hype in general. With preview packs, it's going to supply the lower tier market more, but it's going to put some it's going to put more coins in some people's hands, and they're going to go after some of those top, top tier cards that are still so rare. I think it's going to inflate some of those a little bit. I think Ronaldo is going to be the most expensive off the start of the year that he's ever been. I think most people would agree with me on that one because of the Manchester United links and the ones to watch, which will pull his gold card out of packs. That's definitely going to be a huge rise there. Let's talk about the best gold card in the game, in my opinion, Mr. Kylian Mbappe. This card is going to be more expensive than ever as well. I'm calling 2 million coins for Mbappe this year because he was just the man, the glitch, right? That's how he was known as last year, the five-star skills, the four-star weak foot, even more PSG links to link him together this year. I think this Mbappe is going to be 2 million coins, at least right off the bat, maybe even a little bit more. It's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy. These high tier cards are going to be expensive, man. I can already feel it at the start of the year. So those are two big boys right there with Cristiano and Mbappe. Let's take it down a notch back to Edwin Militao. I know we're flying through a lot of these price predictions, but I know a lot of you guys like it. 
So let's keep moving on. Eder Militao, 82 rated. It's a boost from last year. Last year was like, what, 30, 40K? Yeah, 36,000 coins is where he peaked. And you can see he absolutely got destroyed later on in price. I think Militao is going to be 50, 60K this year because part of that is because you no longer have Varane to link with Mendy. This is your center back link to Furlan Mendy at the start of the game. Which, by the way, Furlan Mendy is going to be a 150,000 coin card. It's just the way that it is. He's the best left back in the game besides Alfonso Davies to start the year. Non-icon, non-foot uh, heroes. I don't know if there's any foot hero left backs. But this Militao has a very increased demand this year because of those links to Mendy. And, of course, his upgrade in the card just looks cracked. So that's why I'm saying Militao is going to be 50, 60, 70,000 coins somewhere in that range in the first two weeks. Speaking of another Real Madrid man, I think this Hazard card still has value, but he is going to be cheaper. Now, this is a different scenario. Yes, he links to Ferlin Mendy. A little 4-5-1, left mid to left back, green link, boom. Your chemistry for both of those cards sorted. Last year, that's what people used him for. 88 pace, big drop off this year to only 84 pace. Last year was 150K on average between 170 and 120. I think the hazard this year is going to be around 80,000 coins. Another drop off in price, maybe even 75, maybe even a little bit lower than that. I think this card still looks like a decent mid-tier center attacking mid though if you position change in game and put him to center attacking mid. So I like this hazard card. I still think he's going to be semi-expensive, but the lower rating means he's going to get packed more as well. And that 100% makes me think his price is going to drop off from last year a pretty significant amount. Next, Marcus Rashford, of course, the competitor to Hyunmin Son with those GGMU links, links to Pogba, links to even Phil Foden with the English links, links to Ronaldo, right? And the five-star skills, only a three-star weak foot though. That is going to hurt his price, I think, a little bit. I think a little bit. Now, last year, Rashford flew under the radar from the start. Then, of course, people began to realize that he was super overpowered and rose up to almost 300,000 coins after being about 180. I think Rashford this year is going to be over 200K. He Again, his rating is still the same in 85. He did lose one pace, but he went up in shooting. His card is basically the same as last year, minus the small details. I think Marcus Rashford this year is going to be more expensive, though. It's going to be 200 to 250,000 coins in those first two weeks just because of the Manchester United hype again and the five-star skills and how people were used to using Rashford last year at the start of the game. Let's drop it down low again for rating and go at 82. Pepe, this card for me looks cracked. This is no more than 20,000 coins and he doesn't go up from there. If he's any more than 20 or 30K, you are selling this card instantly because this card is not going to last at that price range for very long. I really don't think so. I know he's got the Portuguese links, which are solid, but Liga Nost links, you just can't keep building on a squad with this guy at the center back. You're going to have to upgrade within the first two to three weeks of FIFA. This guy's price is definitely going to drop off when that does happen. So again, 20K max, 30K is pretty crazy for me on this one. Get it out, take the coins, go somewhere else, else with those coins would be my opinion. But he is going to be expensive right away. Starter squad beast, probably 10 to 20K in the first couple of days. And then that's probably going to be his max as a lot of the lower tier cards will be. Even as we look at like Renato Sanchez card, let me find this one for you. This is how the price graph is going to look for like 80% of cards in FIFA Ultimate Team in the first couple days. They're going to rise up. They're going to be rare. They're going to get packed though later on the, after the first few days and drop off a bunch. So that's why, again, I'd be very careful with a guy like Pepe, Vertonghen, even Lacroix and Klosterman, how, who, who will have a little bit more long-staying value than maybe Pepe and Vertonghen, but they're low rated. They're going to drop off a lot in price. Last card right here, Marcus Llorente, 86 rated, a big boost from last year. And I'm going to look at a different price to kind of compare this card and maybe think about how he could be this year. Marcus Llorente, we look at Goretzka from last year. Basically, give this card plus 10 pace. This gold Goretzka from last year at 78 pace. If you give it plus 10 pace, you basically get this card. This card, Goretzka last year, was like 50, 60,000 coins at the start of the game. This Urente is even higher rated, 86, so it makes him more rare. I think this Urente card is going to be 125 to 150,000 coins. I really think that he will be. Last year's 82 card was only 30K. But, you know, of course, Urente had a huge year last year. That's why he got the huge upgrade. And everybody knows how great his card is in game. So 
That's why I'm giving this card a massive, massive price prediction at 125 to 150,000 coins. I really feel like that's a pretty accurate range for this card. Now, I know there's a ton of cards that I didn't talk about that I didn't cover, and we might do another one of these price prediction videos. If you want to see another one, drop it down below in the comments, of course, and tell me which cards that you do want to see. But that was really fun to look through a lot of these, and hopefully it gave you some insight on how much these cards might be at the start of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, again, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.